Welcome to the Central Carolina Technical College Online New Student Orientation. This informational presentation is designed to help you learn your way around the college as well as to inform you of resources to help you in and outside of the classroom. We want you to be successful in your studies and this orientation will provide you key pieces of information to help you get a great start. We'll start with a general overview about the college and its services and then focus on financial aid, advisement, and student records. We'll then tell you about our special programs and supportive services and help you learn about your program of study. Lastly, you'll learn about MyCCTC, our internal student website. At the end of this presentation, we ask that you please complete a very short questionnaire which will help us improve our services. Let's get started with some general information about the college. Central Carolina operates multiple locations in Sumter, Lee, Clarendon, and Kershaw counties. At these locations, students can complete the admissions process, apply for financial aid, receive advisement, use testing services, make payments, buy books, take classes, and more. The locations include the main campus in Sumter, the Shaw Air Force Base Education Center site, the Effie DeBose campus in Manning, the Kershaw County Downtown Campus in Camden, and the Lee County site in Bishopville. The college also operates an additional location in Kershaw County near Interstate 20 and several other locations which host specific programs, including the Health Sciences Center, the Natural Resources Management Center, the Legal Studies Center, and the Advanced Manufacturing Technology Training Center. Information and addresses can be found at our website. If you want to know what's happening on campus, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We also have a weekly electronic newsletter called This Week at cctech.edu forward slash this week. Our safety and security department is dedicated to maintaining a safe environment at Central Carolina Technical College. Our security officers wear branded security polo shirts. If you ever need assistance or have a safety concern, please notify a security officer. Central Carolina also employs off-duty Sumter police officers. Be sure to always carry your current CCTC student ID in case it is requested by an officer. If you need a student ID or need to update your current one with a sticker, you may visit building M100, room M117. All students are required to park in the non-reserved, white-lined parking spaces on campus. Failure to do so will result in a parking violation notice. CCTC has a smoke-free and tobacco-free policy that prohibits the use of tobacco products on all campus property and includes all forms of tobacco, including smokeless tobacco, chew or dip, and e-cigarettes. This policy covers all campuses. The CCTC Library has a number of resources available to help you excel academically. In addition to traditional reference help, the library has audiobooks, DVDs, computers, study rooms, a self-service photocopier, and on-the-spot assistance in using library databases. The CCTC Library is a member of the Pascal Consortium, providing the opportunity for students to borrow books from any South Carolina academic library. The library is located on the first floor of building M500, and it is open 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Electronic resources may be accessed from the library page in MyCCTC. The Central Carolina Technical College Bookstore serves students, faculty, staff, and the surrounding community by providing textbooks, lab materials, school supplies, gift items, and printed apparel and snacks. During a designated time frame, students may use their excess financial aid to purchase or rent textbooks. Students can find what books they need for classes by visiting the bookstore or searching the bookstore catalog on CCTC's website. The bookstore is located on main campus, building M100 in the Student Center. 
Books may also be purchased at the F.E. DuBose campus, Kershaw County downtown campus, and the Lee County site. Central Carolina's Testing Center provides a variety of testing services to CCTC students and non-CCTC students within our service area. The Testing Center is committed to maintaining high standards of excellence for all of our testing services. Students typically take course exams in the Testing Center along with other standardized exams such as the CLEP and Dante's exams, T's test, biology placement exam, and others. Students can register for these and others on CCTC's website. The main campus testing center is located in building M100, room M109. User Support Services seeks to provide technical support to the students, faculty, and staff of Central Carolina Technical College. If you experience technical difficulties with your MyCCTC account, campus email, or any of CCTC's electronic services, you may contact them by phone, by email at support at cctech.edu, or in person on the main campus in Sumter. Computer labs are also available to students for academic use at the Sumter, Lee, Clarendon, and Kershaw campuses. The Student Code of Conduct is one of CCTC's biggest must-reads. It not only outlines your responsibilities and rights as a student, it also lets you know what we expect from you and what you can expect from us. The Student Code of Conduct can be found in the online catalog and student handbook, on our website, and on the advisement and registration page of MyCCTC. It also includes definitions of commonly used phrases to help you understand college terms. It is important that you review the code to be sure you understand your rights and responsibilities as a CCTC student. In addition to defining your rights and responsibilities, it covers acceptable behavior on and off campus. It also addresses sexual violence and harassment procedures, disciplinary procedures, and student grievance procedures. Sexual harassment and sexual violence are strictly prohibited by the college. Sexual harassment is any form of unwanted sexual attention, including unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature. Sexual violence is any sexual act against someone without their explicit consent. Sexual violence encompasses a range of offenses such as rape, unwanted touching, and threatened sexual violence. There are ways to help prevent a sexual assault. They include avoid being in classrooms or buildings alone at night, report any suspicious person or activity to campus security, be aware of your surroundings at all times, when walking at night, be alert, listen for footsteps and voices to make sure no one is following you, avoid unlit areas, whenever possible, walk and park in well-lit public areas, always lock the doors in your car and house, Keep the car doors locked even when you are driving. When walking to your car at night, have your car keys in your hand before leaving the building. If you are assaulted, call 911 or campus security at 803-778-6623. If you are assaulted, resources are available on campus and in the community. Congratulations! You've completed part one of online new student orientation. We hope this general information puts your mind at ease and gives you a sense of where to go if you need assistance before classes start. The most common reason students give for not coming to college is that they cannot afford the tuition. However, most students have more than one financial aid option available. In the financial aid section, we are going to discuss the various types of financial aid options and help you to understand how to retain these funds. Keep in mind that the Office of Financial Aid and Veterans Affairs at Central Carolina Technical College can assist you in applying for grants, scholarships, lottery tuition assistance, federal work study, and eligible military assistance. One of the first steps to receive financial aid is to submit a completed free application for federal student aid, commonly referred to as the FAFSA. 
This free application is available by January 1st each year and should be completed on www.bafsa.ed.gov. The application asks questions related to taxed and untaxed income, so it is a good rule of thumb to complete the FAFSA once federal tax returns are completed each year. Financial aid is given on a first-come, first-served basis, so it is imperative that the FAFSA is submitted as soon as possible as it determines eligibility for Pell Grants, South Carolina Lottery Tuition Assistance, and student loans. The South Carolina Legislative Incentive for Future Excellence Scholarship, the Life Scholarship, is an academic scholarship program administered by the South Carolina Commission on Higher Education. Students who have graduated from a South Carolina high school with a 3.0 grade point average are eligible to apply. The Life Scholarship can be used for up to four semesters, although renewal after the student's first year requires a college GPA of 3.0 and a completion of 30 credit hours. The college also offers multiple scholarships through our foundation office to continuing students. Applications are available in the Student Services Building on main campus. Each year you will be evaluated to ensure you are eligible to renew grants, scholarships, and other financial aid. The standards used are called Standards of Satisfactory Academic Progress, or SAP. Students must maintain a 2.0 cumulative GPA, complete 67% of enrolled classes, and complete a program of study within a set time frame. If you do not maintain the minimum GPA, have excessive withdrawals or failed courses, or are taking courses in excess of those required to complete your program of study, you will jeopardize your eligibility for financial aid. If you spend one semester with a GPA lower than 2.0 or a pass rate of less than 67%, you should be aware that you will be put on academic probation and will be given a financial aid warning. If your GPA or pass rate do not improve, you will not be able to attend Central Carolina and you will not be able to use your financial aid. However, if you are not meeting the standards due to extenuating circumstances, the Office of Financial Aid has an appeal process. Staff members are always available to answer questions about this process. Please visit the Office of Financial Aid and Veterans Affairs and the Student Services or see the financial aid representative at your campus location for more information. In order to better serve our active military and veteran community, CCTC has a full-time Veterans Affairs representative on main campus, as well as a military programs representative at the Shaw Air Force Base Education Center site. You can apply for veteran benefits online at www.ebenefits.va.gov. Specific information regarding Veterans Affairs Educational Benefit Programs may be obtained from the Veterans Resource Center. Student Records is located on main campus in building M100, room M24A. If you have transfer courses from another college, be sure to mail your official transcripts to student records within one semester. If you need to send your official CCTC transcripts to another college, you can complete the process online at www.getmytranscript.com. If you need to verify your enrollment at CCTC, you can log into MyCCTC to receive an official enrollment verification printout. In addition, if you want to take classes at another school while still remaining enrolled at CCTC, contact Student Records to obtain transient student forms. After the semester starts, you may decide you want to change your schedule. For this reason, Central Carolina has what's called an add drop period. During this period, you can add or drop a class without academic or financial penalty. This period is during the first five days of a 16-week course and the first three days of a 10-week, 8-week, or 5-week course. This period is important because it gives you an opportunity to make decisions about classes without negative consequences. After 7 p.m. on the last day of the add drop period, you will not be able to make any additional schedule adjustments. 
After this time, you will be held financially and academically responsible for the classes in which you are enrolled. In the event you need to drop a course after the add drop period, you must officially withdraw from the course. This process is initiated by speaking with your class instructor. Withdrawing from a class may cause you to owe money to the college, so be sure to speak with a financial aid counselor before completing the process. There may be a financial penalty for those who are withdrawn due to attendance, so be sure to attend classes as scheduled. The attendance policy states that students may not be absent more than 20% of the attendance period, which begins with the first day of class and ends with the date designated as withdrawal deadline. An absence is defined as missing the entire class session, and students coming in late to class or who leave before class is dismissed will incur a one-half absence. Absences in excess of 20% of the attendance period will result in a grade of WA, or withdrawal attendance. Students in a class after the withdrawal deadline will receive a grade of A, B, C, D, F, or I. Your instructors will clearly define to each class how many absences equate to 20% of the attendance period. There are no excused absences, so be careful. It's always a good idea to communicate with your instructors ahead of time if you know you are going to be absent. Information about CCTC's attendance policy, withdrawal procedures, and the add drop period can be found on the college website, in my CCTC, or in the current college catalog. While you are enrolled at CCTC, you're sure to have questions about your program of study. What classes should I take next semester? When will I graduate? Whatever the question, your academic or freshman advisor can help you find the answer. You were assigned a freshman and academic advisor when you were admitted to CCTC. You should visit your assigned advisor to receive help with choosing classes for upcoming semesters. Advisors are like GPSs. If you ignore them for a period of time, it may take longer to arrive at your destination, which is ultimately graduation. It's good to meet with your academic advisor at least once per semester to ensure you're on the right track. Also, all first semester freshmen must register for College 105 Freshman Seminar. If you do not know who your freshman or academic advisor is or where to find him or her, the Advisement and Registration page can help. Simply log into My CCTC and click on the Advisement and Registration page, and your advisor should be listed in the Academic Profile on the upper left-hand side. Also, DegreeWorks has information about your advisor and can be found under the Advisement and Registration page under Registration Tools on the left-hand side. If you need help locating your advisor, you may visit Student Services in Building M300 or at your outreach campus to receive assistance. Your advisor will provide you with a detailed semester display that shows what classes are needed each semester. Congratulations, you've completed part two of online new student orientation. We hope you understand the financial and academic services available to you and understand what you must do to keep your financial aid and remain in good standing. If you have questions about add drop period, the withdrawal process, appeals, or advisement, please visit Student Services. Central Carolina Technical College has a number of services available to help you become a successful student. All of these programs are available free of charge and are designed to complement your classroom learning and enhance your well-being. Be sure to jot down any services that you might find helpful and reach out to one of them before you begin classes. Let's get started. The Career Services Center assists and guides students and alumni to help them make more informed career decisions. If you are undecided about which occupation suits you, Career Services staff can give you various assessments, teach you how to research occupations, and help you develop a career plan. In addition, if you want help with cover letters, resumes, and interviewing techniques, you can make an appointment for individual assistance. This free program offers the following services, employment services, career planning and job seeking skills, and career services workshops. The Student Learning Center has the help you need to be successful in your classes. 
They offer free tutoring in math, English, biology, computers, reading, and writing. Tutoring is offered in many formats, so you can pick the way that works best for you. Tutoring is available through Open Labs, where you can drop in and no appointment is needed, or online 24-7 through NetTutor. Visit the Student Learning Center on main campus in building M500, room M585. Studies show that students who are involved in student organizations are more likely to stay in school. Student life gives students the opportunity to shape their college experience through participation in student organizations, community service, event planning, leadership conferences, and workshops. CCTC has many active student organizations. Be sure to log into MyCCTC or visit the college's website to view information on clubs and organizations. CCTC employs a Disability Services Coordinator to help students that may have a physical, mental, or learning disability. This counselor will meet with you each semester to help determine what classroom accommodations need to be made in order for you to meet your educational goals. In order to qualify for these services, you must provide adequate documentation of your disability. Central Carolina Technical College has a food pantry program called the Student Nutritional Access Center, or SNAC. This donation-based program offers non-perishable food items to needy students. Through both monetary and food item donations, the program has provided over 34,000 food items to CCTC students since its inception. The pantry is open twice per month and is located in building M200. Watch the Campus Plasma screens for more information. Students can ride the RTA bus for free with a valid and updated student ID. The RTA runs daily within Sumter and surrounding counties and can be used as a mode of transportation to and from school. Rider schedules can be found online at www.swrta.com forward slash routes or you can call 1-888-748-4987 for more information about routes near you. The Freshman Focus Center is a center designed to increase the success of first-time freshman students and provide them with the resources needed to enhance their overall learning experience. Services provided include assistance with building academic competence, connecting to college resources, College 105 Freshman Seminar Coursework, Advisement and Registration. Located in Building M500, Room 584, the Freshman Advisors and the Freshman Focus Center are eager and ready to help you have the best college experience. For additional information, you can contact Elizabeth Bastido at bastidoeh at cctech.edu or visit Room 589. Now we're going to highlight some of the special programs that you can find at Central Carolina to help you succeed. TRIO is a federally funded post-secondary education program designed to provide academic assistance and support to Central Carolina Technical College students who meet the eligibility requirements. The TRIO program provides students with a variety of support services including tutoring, advising, scheduling assistance, counseling such as academic, personal, financial, and career, cultural events, college tours, mentoring, scholarship and application information, four-year college transfer planning, and more. Federal guidelines direct the program toward first-generation, low-income families, college students, and students with disabilities. Students should also demonstrate an academic need. The Special Populations Program offers assistance with textbooks, child care, and transportation reimbursements. Students who are interested must complete a Special Populations application. This federally funded program provides assistance for individuals with disabilities, individuals from disadvantaged families, single parents, single pregnant women, displaced homemakers, individuals with other barriers to education, including those with limited English proficiency, or individuals in a program of study not common for their gender. 
The Veterans Resource Center, also known as the VRC, is dedicated to providing the highest quality support to student veterans, active duty military personnel, and military dependents in an atmosphere that provides commitment and respect while stimulating academic excellence. CCTC's Veterans Resource Center provides support with career services, academic and life skills workshops, and a wealth of available college and community resources. The VRC provides student veterans with a relaxing place to study and connect with other campus veterans. The center also offers free printing and coffee for military-affiliated students. Congratulations! You've completed Part 3 of Online New Student Orientation. We hope these services benefit you or someone you know. If you ever need assistance, be sure to reach out. There is always someone available to help point you in the right direction. It's important to know what courses are required to complete your degree, diploma, or certificate. Learn important information about your program of study in the college catalog, which you can find online. The programs of study start on page 32 and show you the course requirements for your program of study. Course requirements for programs are listed in semester displays, which indicate the suggested sequence of courses. Some courses are offered every semester, but many are available only in the semester listed. Students are encouraged to enroll in courses in the recommended sequence and to speak with their academic advisor frequently in order to graduate in a timely manner. Pay close attention to the semester displays because sometimes one course is a prerequisite for another course. That is, you must complete a certain course before you are allowed to enroll in the next course in the sequence. For more information about your program of study, please contact your academic advisor. Your academic advisor's name can be found in Degree Works. We've covered a lot of information so far, and there's just one more important piece to review. This section will highlight an online orientation for MyCCTC. What's that, you ask? While well, MyCCTC is a secure personal site where you can check your email, register for courses, and so much more. It's really important that you familiarize yourself with this site as you can see your academic transcripts, see your grades, get financial information, and print your schedule. Because it's so important, we've created a separate self-navigating online tutorial that you'll always be able to access. All you have to do is log in to MyCCTC, click on the student page, and click on MyCCTC Student Guide. It's that easy. We are so excited to have you join us as a new student, and so we just want to give you a few final thoughts. Here are some important highlights from what we've covered during your online new student orientation. Ask for help. Meet with your academic advisor. Register for classes early, apply for financial aid early, attend all your classes, and study, study, study. Be disciplined in your online classes, because we want to see you graduate and succeed. Congratulations! You successfully completed online new student